Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Now, you may not may have noticed that something's a little different. Yes, that's right. Instead of using Windows Live Movie Maker or whatever that thing was called, I'm now using regular Windows Movie Maker again. So instead of having to use Sound Recorder and Try to match up as best as possible. I can just do normal narration. Yay! So here we are, um, doing more mirror shenanigans. But this time, they've got these enemies that um try to get in your way. Hmm. Basically, you have to bounce off both these mirrors and then hit that. Which isn't exactly that hard to do. So, in the next little part over there, we got our... Oh yeah, before we go ahead over there, we have to, uh... Shine one, this on one of these sun. Is it this one? It is! I get it right in my first go! Okay, there we go. There's... Extra your chest. Inside... Of course, it's another fairy. Another one of these things. Shield and stab it. Best way to get rid of those. More than gosh. There's some rupees in it. Not over here. All right, and so now we go down. I'm through the store. Through the door. And a nice little chamber over here. And we can get something and we turn it into a Goron! Now right over here there's a button. And as soon as you hit this button, something happens. And then you have to race to get to that place before the flames turn back on. Will I make it? Well, not if I keep crashing. And there we go. Not that hard. That's only the first part. Now we've actually got to get there. Then again, it's not that big of a deal because it's actually um the way we need to go anyway. Um, yeah. Turn back into the little kid while in the lava. Brilliant move there. <laughs> now we gotta um use the Deku Scrub to get across. And we get to use those um, gusts of wind, those little updrafts, to um, get our get across. But before we do that, we need to get some rupees up here, and um, besides that, it's very. But yeah, rupees. And they're set up like a uh, Bowling pin. Bowling pin! Rupees. So, now we gotta do this part. This can be very tricky. Yeah. I just pretty much, what I do is make it far enough in that one. That's the only really hard part of this. Not that it is even really that hard. Okay, riding them gusts to win. Do I make it this time? Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Oh no, I'm gonna fall short! No! Ah! I'm on fire! It burns! Okay, will this be the time? The winning run? Or am I talking? Oh! Well, that was... That was... Not the best. So, okay. You just gotta, I guess, go into it again. Get more momentum going. And it gets blown up. <laughs> oh, wow. It's burning already. Jeez. Sometimes. 
Apparently, I like the way it burns. We get to this treasure chest inside the good old fairy. And I'm pretty bummed here. That's nice. Now go to the door. <coughs> and you're outside. Ah, oh, excuse me. Mm. It's easy. Now a dwarf, man. Okay. This crazy guy. He likes to fight with swords. And he will charge at you, and if he hits you, he uses down fast. But if he misses you, he just warp into the sky and land like behind you. And that's what you want him to do. You want him to warp into the sky because after he does that other attack, he leaves himself vulnerable. Like, so. So, get up. There we go. But then immediately after you hit him, you will try to attack again. Somewhat fit attack as his name. But he's not vulnerable for very long, so you gotta keep an eye on him. And not let him get across the black on you. Sword and fire. I'm going. Yeah, this is you can have crazy ninja. Not fun yet. There he is. Yeah. And this this suitor, these suitors anyway, when they're defeated, they tell you stuff. Okay, a hint. That's nice. Ooh, a riddle. I like riddles. And they blow themselves up. And then they talk after they're already exploded. Ooh. And inside this treasure, what could it be? It's the light arrow. That's helpful. So now we gotta make our way back outside. I guess we could just war, but there's some more things in the way, I'm pretty sure. Let's get them. Anything? Yeah, I was thinking there was like a thing I could get down here, but apparently, I uh, there isn't. There's like a switch up there, but you can only hit it when the places. Um. Well, you don't. You can't hit it yet. And when you do hit it, well, you can't get it, the treasure chest, right away. So now we're gonna have to pass this little bridge thing and. <laughs> Just fight that creature normally. You can just take his mask off with the hook shot and then uh many storms. Uh attack like an arrow. Two of them. And just uh defeat it. And um we got another interesting ending over here. That is this big statue looking thing. Nice. And um it comes towards you, it smashes the ground, and throws up the breeze, and it makes really heavy footsteps that crack the ground. But it's not that hard to see, you just back up a little and use an arrow. Like, I think four or five shots and she's dead. And it blows up. And defeating such an enemy. Guarantees us another reward. 
What be in there? Well, Bob's in our fairy. Seven, huh? Yeah. Good. About halfway. So now we have the uh, light arrows. We can do something with those. Yeah, I was looking at the map. Uh, 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 map. Hmm. Treasure chest. What's up with that treasure chest? So you get the sun icon with the light arrow. It activates. And it works a treasure chest on the ceiling. Okay. No, we're not these pets. You're really asking for it. Yeah. And then they were slaughtered. And then there was none. Anyway, uh. I'm actually being a planter though. I think I. What am I doing over here? Yeah, there's like. Yeah, when we get that, um. Treasure I unlocked earlier. The one that had the big, um. Light block in the way. And I went ahead and I skipped, um. Pretty much the. Whole. All of it though. What I do? Huh. Oh, most of them I think. What I did there. But either way, um, the gate's open now. And apparently I'm lost. <laughs> Way to go. Let's turn to your left, and there it is. Big old block. Now we just need to get rid of this BMO so we can get our treasure. And there's nothing more satisfying than exploding. There we go. Open up the treasure for yet another fairy. That's eight. And I believe now we can leave the dungeon. So we're gonna do so. The quick way! Now we gotta play through all these songs again. Isn't that wonderful? Crazy block antics and jump, you know? That's pretty much all that's left in this episode, I guess. <laughs> now, look at that, look at that black one way over there. But once I get um, the right block out of the way, I can do something that will change the aspect of the dungeon. Um, but of course, that will be next time. See you then, everybody.